Welcome back to Geeks and Grounds, a monthly game club where we play games and brew good conversation together. Together. I'm Joel. I'm Jenny. How are you doing today, Joel? So wonderful. Yay. Excited to see what you got in store for us what for I the have month of brewing. July. What I have percolating for this What's month. Your, what beans are you roasting right yeah. now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> talk about your roasted beans, talk please. Of, let's talk about the roasted beans this <laughs> month, shall we? Uh, I'm, I'm very excited for the game that we're playing this month. It's one that I... Uh, I have been following the developer for quite some time. She created this game called Rockwin uh, years ago that is one of genuinely one of my favorite games. Um, very heartfelt, very sentimental, and very kind of a surprise to me. I don't know, maybe not a surprise to a lot of other folks, but she announced uh, that there was going to be another game in the universe of this game that I loved called Mr. Saito. And so that game launched... Um, Golly, let me just make sure and check the date. Not too long ago, the game launched March 23rd of 2023, and um, I want to I want to play it as a community. I love it. Uh, shall we read the the short? Yes. Description. Yeah. Uh, a short game about an average white collar worker who struggles to find meaning in a life full of constant overtime and isolation. After an accidental, <laughs> after an accident lands him in the hospital, Mr. Saito is spirited away to a strange fantasy world where an unexpected friend takes him on a life-changing adventure. Wow. Uh, so we are hearkening back a little bit to the sentimental uh, side of things. I, I, I love a good sentimental game, y'all. You literally what use the I word say? spirited away. Like what? I mean, we're going to be, we're ready to be whisked. Yes, whisk we us, are. Jenny. I'm going to whisk you away to the trailer because uh, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Um, as folks who may not know uh, Geeks and Grounds, we often kick off the month by watching the trailer together, reacting. Uh, I will usually always come at it from the perspective of someone who has played the game and experienced it and Joel is our like Noob. fresh faced <laughs> <laughs> fresh faced eager eyed you know um player who is excited I'm like I was gonna I was gonna say bushy tailed but I was like that's I don't know where that's going yeah, be bright eye and bushy tailed for you absolutely yeah. oh, wow. happy to be that person <laughs> Uh, and I'm just going to start off the bat by saying I'm looking at the still image from the thumbnail of this game. And it's like, I would just put this up as artwork in my home. So it's beautiful. cannot wait to watch this trailer. Yeah. Let me make sure that volume is up. And here we go. You know, I love a subtle piano. You know, I love a subtle piano. It's oh, it's so good. of that image. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> These little creatures look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, that is stunning. <laughs> Oh, you gotta have a rock gotta band moment. Gotta have a rock band moment. Crystal Cave. There's a little floopy guy flying around there. <laughs> Those birds. I'm oh, an archaeologist. The smolder. <laughs> the, yeah, the JoJo smolder. Yes. It's so good. <laughs> oh, man. The train scene, spirited away moment reference. Okay. Feelings. Feelings. The game. The game. Yeah. Um, for those of us that maybe feel as though we invest a lot into our work lives and that it's not investing a lot back into our real lives. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the ad for YouTube just popped up and it was so grotesque. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. That was so funny. I'm sitting here doing this like heartfelt, like existential problem or anything, and then the YouTube ad is like these cartoon characters farting into a magic lamp. It's like, what is happening? 
What have you? What is your algorithm that this is the first thing that pops up from YouTube? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm actually really quickly gonna take a screenshot, mostly so that I can pop it up because <laughs> then people can understand oh no, what we've seen. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um, oh my gosh! Okay, thank you, YouTube, and your algorithm for just oh, no. killing the vibe. Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Saito. Oh my gosh! Um. Yeah, oh. where were we? Feelings? Feelings. A oh world where your work life does not reinvest <laughs> in you the same way you invest in it. Um, I know this is something I'm very much dealing with right now, so I'm expecting this to probably hit a little close to home. It is definitely going to hit close to home. It's the reason why it hit close to home for me is, you know, I've also had a lot of uh, rocky experiences between balancing work and mm -hmm. family and life and personal mm -hmm. value um, and attributing value and work in all the wrong places. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's a game that is going to deal with those topics that I think most of us can draw from, as we love to do in Geeks and Grounds, from real experiences, from our personal histories and reflections um and hopefully we'll be able to learn a bit about ourselves as we play always and, um maybe reflect and find ways to improve and move forward uh one thing that I loved about Mr. Saito also is Laura Shigihara, who is an absolute powerhouse in just the industry. Not only does she compose music for a wide variety of games, mm. she's worked on like Angry Birds. She's worked on her own project. She was on To the Moon, actually, which oh, is the first really? game selection. Oh, yeah, cool. she was the theme song, um, the singer in the theme song, and I believe the composer for it, if I'm remembering correctly, oh, or at least one of the composers. Incredible. Um, so we, we already have a history of loving her music. Um, and it's really exciting to see that she is creating more games um, besides just Rakuen, which came out a few years ago. And um, I love this game because it's centered in set in the world of Rakuen. But again, you don't have to know anything about it to play. Uh, but for folks who are familiar with that game, the the mini Mori, the world, some of the references will definitely make sense to you. And you will love those Easter eggs as they come through. Uh, yeah. Any thoughts, I guess, uh, reacting to this trailer yeah i i think i'm super excited to see the juxtaposition of like a harsh literal world mm -hmm. against this more fantastical element yeah. I, it looks like we're gonna have some bleeding between the two like mystical interfering into our work lives maybe a little bit the opposite i i love stories like that yeah stories that kind of twist the real world with just that little bit of like magic and curiosity and intrigue Me too yeah i i love a good yeah real world meets fantasy world mm -hmm. story mm -hmm. um so yes i think we're gonna have a really good time this game again because it goes into heavy topics i think it could very easily skew into like just really depressing territory but because of the lightheartedness because of the humor and the writing and the joy um that that clearly these developers put into the game, it ends up being just a really fun time as well as a reflective one. Um, just as a heads up in terms of content notes and warning though, um, because of the nature of the topic that we're gonna discuss, there is uh, mentions of suicide, anxiety, and depression. And so there's nothing graphic, um, but if this is content that you're maybe sensitive to, I would say um, definitely keep that in mind as you hop in. Um, there are also very, there's one notable occasional, one notable sequence of, uh, flashing lights and colors. Um, and so that's something again, to keep in mind if that's something that you're sensitive to. Um, yeah. Any, any last thoughts as we get ready to dive into this game? I'm just excited to get into it. I, yeah. I think one of the things, especially is like this conversation around, how our society has prioritized work over humanity mm -hmm. is what I'm very interested in. I think there's a lot of connected media that we'll be able to talk about and pull in Definitely. here. Definitely. Um, so I think especially you in the community, if there are particular forms of media that you have engaged with that hit on some similar topics, I'd love to hear if there are things that you all have gotten into that I haven't experienced. So yeah, please do same. share those. Yep. Agreed. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very excited. Again, we're going to have a great time with Mr. Saito, uh, and I'm looking forward to playing it and enjoying and discussing it with all of you this month. Yes, same. 
Jenny, cool. where can people find you? Uh, folks can find me uh, everywhere, not in the office uh, working, but they can find me, I guess, on social media <laughs> at Kim Chica. <laughs> I don't know if that's much better. <laughs> you know, uh, from what everything that we've experienced together, I think at least we know that the community there is uh, that's true. pretty, pretty cool, pretty, pretty good sound, community pretty safe. on our channels. Yeah. What about you? Where can people find you when you're not at the office? When I'm not at the office, you can find me at my grand falloon uh, and you can find everything about our program our podcast our youtube uh, at uh, geeksandgrounds.com so if you want to learn more please do hop in mm -hmm. final programming notes i think that is it um take us away no oh, no spirit, spirit us away joel uh if you are also roasting beans don't forget to roast your friends what <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a better one for the next one, surely. <laughs> <laughs> they can't all be winners. Well, that's what Joel said, so that's what we're going to do, y'all. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>